Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. So this week let's talk about self-expression versus simply copying or copying a photograph. Uh, you know, and I've talked about this before, uh, how important it is for an artist, particularly those that are starting as artists, not to copy directly from a photograph but to use a photograph as a reference for the subject matter. So that the, the photograph gives you an idea about the composition, a starting point to make a composition, to design a composition. And then it's your job as the artist to interpret what it is that you see and bring forth your experience, both design experience as well as life experience and color experience and all those sorts of things to bring that to bear on creating a composition from that photo reference, not simply to copy the photo reference, because you'll need to further design the thing. You'll need to apply some sort of a value pattern to it that makes sense so that the shapes will be distinguished one from another. And you'll also have to apply some sort of a color combination where the colors work together. There's not enough instructors that teach beginning painters how to do this. They say, okay, well, you know, take this picture and just copy it and, you know, it'll be okay. Well, <laughs> you know, that's not really instruction at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is show some examples following uh, this intro so that you can see the things that I've done in the past. And there's countless other artists that you can find online who do the same thing. And any really good, reasonable, professional artist is going to go through a process similar to this. And you'll see in the photographs things that uh, sparked my imagination. They may be, may be things that I like, really like, like certain kinds of buildings, like older buildings. But I don't copy what's there because they're just old and really sort of ugly and gray and you know it's not a color scheme or anything that's interesting but you can turn any sort of a reference photo into something that's more interesting so i hope these examples will help you what i'm going to do is show a photograph the reference photograph and then a value study that i made of that using that as a reference for subject matter and then the value study, and then the painting that was developed from the value study. So once I develop a value study, I don't look at the reference photograph anymore because I'm only concerned about what's in the value study because that's a composition and the value pattern that I'm going to use to create the painting. So none of the other stuff about the photograph matters anymore. So what you're doing is you're distancing yourself from the thing or things in the photograph and you're developing a two-dimensional flat value study which is a, a design for the painting and then you apply the value pattern to that value meaning the degree of light and dark so you have to have lights and darks and mostly middle value in a painting right and the lights and the darks where those are next to each other that's going to develop your center of interest the highest level of contrast is going to be at that center of interest and the rest, as Frank Webb says, is just an amalgam of middle value. Okay, so let's take a look at these examples, and hopefully they'll help you understand that you don't have to paint what is, but as Frank Webb says, what could be, or what should be, or what you want it to be. All right, take a look.
Okay, my friends, I hope that was helpful for you to see examples of that. And the hope in showing you this is that you will move forward in a little bit different way when you're using photographs. Um, use them just as a reference to create a value study in a drawing, and then you'll paint from that drawing and not worry about the photograph because the fo this helps to distance you from the real thing and get you into painting mode where you can create something amazing that only you can do. All right, hope this was helpful and we'll see you on the next video.